Welcome to Curriki Studio. I'm here today to show you how to create asynchronous lessons using the free tools found at Curriki Studio, along with publishing your digital lessons to your Google Classroom. My name is Caroline Benoit, and I'm an educator with experience teaching fourth through eighth grade. And like many educators, I know the importance of including and implementing technology into my classroom to help improve my student engagement. But sifting through the thousands of available ed tech tools can not only be intimidating, but it can also be very time consuming. That's where Kariki Studio has stepped in to be the digital learning one-stop shop. Imagine having a single login to create any digital learning experience. Kariki Studio brings together a library of over 50 different open education resources into one offering tool. Like the example you see here, authors can fully customize dynamic digital experiences for their learners. In this fall alone, I have designed over a hundred activities using the free tools provided at Kariki Studio. I do not have any coding or development knowledge. There is no coding knowledge required to create using the Kariki Studio tools. Anyone can follow the guided tools step-by-step -step instructions to create these dynamic digital experiences. And the best part, Kariki Studio's free tools were created with an ultimate focus on design once, publish anywhere. Today we're going to explore the many possibilities of activating your learning content using the free tools found at Kariki Studio. We'll first look at some example lessons using the Kariki tools. Then we'll look at a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to build one activity. And lastly, we'll look at just how easy it is to then publish that content on your Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Think of your static worksheets like this one here. Teachers can easily convert content into Kariki Studio activities like the dialogue cards we see in this example. Caballo. Authors can provide media in the form of images, Ca animations, ba and videos, yo. as well as many activities providing audio components. Every button, text, image, and audio feature is a purposeful decision made by the author of each activity. Like mentioned before, Kariki Studio provides over 50 activity types. There are many options for how to convert this one worksheet. You can create these stylish and intuitive flashcards that have images, flat or animated, paired with a question and answer. Learners are asked to fill in the text field and are provided immediate feedback. This activity is quick and easy to design and provides a much more engaging experience for your learners than the original worksheet where the content was pulled from. Now, Think of your video lesson content. Whether pulling from a published video on YouTube or a video lesson of yourself, Kariki Studio's interactive video allows authors to choose from 15 engaging interactions to pair with video media. You likely have accompanying content like this fill in the blanks worksheet that goes hand in hand with your video lesson. Why not provide that same check for understanding as an engaging interaction like these drag and drop examples you have seen here. Kariki Studio's interactive video allows authors to easily activate their learning content. What was once a static note sheet is now an engaging experience for students. Notice feedback features, tips and hints, and the ability to provide an ongoing activity while your students watch the video. While Kariki Studio provides default settings, it is important to note that all activity types are fully customizable to meet the needs of your learners. Authors love the flexibility and many possibilities with our interactive video, and your students will love the captivating digital learning experience. Now that you've seen a couple of examples, 
let's see just how easy it is to build an activity in Kariki Studio, like the ones that you've seen here today. Start by setting up a new account or logging into an existing one at karikistudio.org. Once logged in, you'll find yourself at your project dashboard. You can find preloaded sample projects that can be duplicated into your account and search existing content that has been showcased to the public Kariki Studio Library. Back at our project dashboard, we have the option to add a new project, think of these as units of study, or we can build within an existing project. Start by creating a playlist to organize your activities. These playlists are wonderful for creating an asynchronous lesson with a set of digital activities. You can easily adjust and maneuver across your playlists. Select Add New Activity and explore the six categories housing our growing library of tools. You'll find tools for dictation exercises, memory match games, a 360 virtual tour, and many more. With each activity type, you'll find an accompanying demo version and tutorial video for how to build the digital experience. Now we will hop into the multimedia category to build an interactive video. Let's follow the provided prompts. Add a title, subject, educational level, Choose from a selected image or upload an image thumbnail of your own. Then follow the step-by-step -step guide, noting anything marked with a red asterisk is required. For interactive videos, you may pull the content directly from YouTube or upload your own MP4 file. An important thing to note is that each activity type and interaction within that activity type provides a set of behavioral settings to easily customize the experience for your learners. Next, let's explore the 15 choices of interactions for your video. Ranging from multiple choice questions to fully customizable drag and drop interactions. Pause your video to decide where the interaction should be then select the best interaction to assess your audience. Let's create a drag text interaction. Authors choose the time, if the interaction pauses the video, and how the interaction is displayed. Then the author should follow the step-by-step -step guide provided for this interaction. Always look for the important instructions marked in yellow. These instructions tell me that in order to create my draggable word, I must add an asterisk in front and behind the correct word or phrase. After providing the content for the student's task, I then have more customization options with feedback, behavioral settings, and adaptivity. Press done and adjust the look of the newly created interaction. Notice this true-false question mimics the look and feel of the last interaction we worked with. Remember, always look at the behavioral settings as they differ for each interaction. Once you've added all of your interactions, find the green Save and Exit button to now go preview what you've just made. We're back at our playlist view, and when selecting the vertical ellipsis icon, I can choose from a variety of options, including previewing the content. We can see where we have placed our two new interactions. Within minutes, I was able to create this drag text interaction just by enclosing the chosen text with asterisk signs. Imagine any static worksheet with fill in the blanks or vocabulary match being easily converted into this engaging digital experience with immediate feedback for your learners. Students can keep track of submission on the final summary screen. 
Back at our project dashboard, it is now the final step. Have deliver your Curriculum Studio activities to your Google Classroom. When sharing a project, find the vertical ellipsis icon and select Share. You will then be prompted with a screen providing publishing options, including a direct link to your Google Classroom. Select the class, choose Create Assignment, and fill out the details as needed. Curriki Studio provides numerous locations where you can access your delivery options. Here we are at the Project Preview page. When clicking the Share Project button, you are prompted with the same screen as seen before. Here is the view in my Google Classroom. I can see the newly assigned Curriki Studio activity. Students receive the assignment and are scored here in their Google Classroom. Students will never authenticate in Curriki Studio. Now that we have taken the round trip experience of authoring an activity and publishing the Google Classroom, it's time to take a peek at a few additional examples. Like this documentation tool, allowing students to further explore a primary source image and reflect on their observations using the teacher created text box as their guide. One of my favorite activity types is Curriki Studio's adaptive tool, Branching Scenario. This activity layout allows authors to create an adaptive experience, providing specific activities with each learning path. Branching Scenario is excellent for choice board activation like seen in this example. But your options are not limited there. Branching Scenario is wonderful for creating differentiated learning paths, providing digital stations, and project-based learning. Students will be prompted with a branching question and will be provided a task dependent on their selection. As you see here, the task can be interactive videos, drag and drop activities, image hotspots, and many more. Curriki Studio provides immense flexibility for authors to fully customize their digital learning experiences to meet the needs of their learners. Do you provide lessons and slides? Curriki Studio's course presentation includes 21 interactions. Imagine providing your slide content with this additional interactivity. Here we see another adaptive activity. And while this activity type is called personality quiz, imagine utilizing this tool with your curriculum to help sort students in predetermined groups. Imagine bringing history to life with Curriki Studio's interactive timeline. Authors can include text, images, and video media. I hope this quick introduction to Curriki Studio has allowed you to imagine the many possibilities. Head to curricustudio.org to sign up for your free account.